Okay, welcome everyone. Thank you for being here with me today. Um, we're going to do a nice low yoga. So um, let's go ahead and get started seated. Uh, as you can see, I'm sitting on a block here with me. So if, if that's comfortable for you, please go ahead and sit on your block. You can cross your ankles, sit on your heels, even sit on a chair or stool, whatever is best for you. And then just um, kind of close your eyes, let your spine be long. You want to let the crown of your head, the top of your head, reach up towards the ceiling. Notice if your chin is lifted, just drop your chin slightly so that the back of your neck becomes long. And then just right away, just kind of drop in and see if you can find your emotions, kind of find your breath, find any sensations in your body. Just notice what's happening inside of you right now. And as you do that, you kind of allow whatever happened previously to this class or whatever is going to happen, what you have planned for after the class, you just kind of set it aside so that this next 45 minutes is going to become really all about you, your practice, your body, your physical body, your mental health. So just notice everything right now in this moment. And I'm really going to ask you to try not to multitask. So if you can close the door, I love dogs and they, my dogs come in and go. But if you find that your pets or anything around you are distracting, maybe you just kind of close the door for the next 45 minutes to let yourself be 100% present for yourself, not for me, but really for yourself. And then as you take your awareness to your breath, notice how your breath, your belly expands with each inhalation and then exhale and see if you can find a place of softening the hips down, softening the shoulders down, softening any areas of tension, maybe the jaws. And then as you're ready, we're going to move a little bit nice and slowly. So go ahead and if you're sitting on anything, put it to the side. We're going to just come into some cat cow. So place your hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Take a nice deep inhalation, lift the hips up, send the tailbone up. Exhale, pull the belly around the back as you drop the chin. Really begin to round your back. Notice your spine right now. Inhale, coming back into your cow pose, lift the heart, exhale, pull the belly and round the back into your cow pose. And do this again one more time. Maybe you can even close your eyes just to kind of really feel the movement of the spine. And then once again, coming back into your cow pose. And next time as you come into um, your neutral spine, take the left leg back behind you, tuck the left toes under, Lean back and forth, so you're going to move back and forth on the left toes. Maybe lean back so you get a nice stretch in the, la in the calf on the back of the leg. And then as you come forward, just kind of notice the stretch in your hands and your wrists. And then this time as you lean back, pause there, bring the outside edge of that left foot down. Maybe begin to reach the right arm up towards the sky. Stretch it out, exhale, lower the right hand down. And then bring the inside edge of the left foot down as you swivel on the left, right knee and reach the left arm up. And then again, do this two more times, side to side. Left arm down, outside edge of the left foot, reach the right arm up, inhale. And lower the right hand down, inside edge of the left foot, reach the left arm up, good. Once again, inhale and switch to the right arm up and then lower the right hand down, switch to the left arm and then pause here for a moment. As you reach the left arm up, you're kind of side plank pose. Reach the left arm all the way up and over, bow open that left side, press your left foot flat, inhale and then lower the left hand down, bring the left knee back. Inhale, neutral spine, send the right toes back behind you, tuck the right toes under, lean back on the ball of that foot, and then come forward, back and forth like this. Nice stretch in the back of the calf. 
And then as you're ready, we're going to do that side to side motion. So swivel on the inside edge of the left foot as you reach the right arm up. Inhale. Lower the right hands. Come to the outside edge of the right foot. Reach the left arm up. And two more times, inhale, side to side. You know where you're going. And lower the hand down and then switch with the left arm up. Stretch it out. If there's any point you want to stay, if you want to pause anywhere, feel free to do that. Sometimes it feels good to just kind of stay here and feel and notice what's happening to this side of the body. And then next time your left hand is down and right arm is reaching up, pause there for a moment. And as you press the right foot down, begin to reach the right fingertips overhead so you will open that right side, breathe into that right lung. And then lower the right hand down, bring the right knee back down. Inhale, back into your cow pose, lift the chest up. This time, as you tuck your toes under, lean your hips back, lift the hips up into your downward facing dog. And then because this is your first down dog, walk your feet a little bit closer to your hands and then far away from each other. So as wide as your mat. Maybe you're only your big toes are on the mat. Keep the knees bent, drop the head down, line up the ears with your biceps. And then press the hands away, send the tailbone up. You feel a nice stretch in the low back. And as you really come into a regular down dog, so walk your hands to the top of your mat and your feet to the back side of the mat. Doing a nice deep inhalation here in this down dog. As you exhale, step the right foot in between your hands. Bring the left knee down to the floor, reach the arms up, stretch it up, open up your front side body. Exhale, lower the hands down, come into your runner's lunge so that left knee comes up and step the right foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, step the left foot in between your hands, bring the right knee down to the floor. Reach the arms, stretch out the front side, inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale, lower the hands down, come into your runner's lunge. So first you pick up the right knee off the ground and then step the left foot back, downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, begin to walk your feet all the way to your hands, top of your mat. Inhale, keep the knees bent. Lift the chest halfway so your back is flat. And exhale and fold forward. Drop the head down. Grab opposite elbows and just kind of sway your torso side to side as you shake the head side to side. We're just doing this to make sure that we're not holding on to any tension in the back of the neck and the shoulders. Bring your hands to your hips, please. Slowly begin to roll up one vertebrae at a time. Bring your big toes together, heels are an inch apart. Bend the knees, seat, uh, sit into your chair pose, but reach your fingertips to the front. Inhale, pause here, take your gaze up. And then as you lower the hands down, reach behind you into airplane pose. Take your gaze down to the floor. Let's do this again two more times. Inhale into your chair pose, lift the chest, reach forward. Exhale into your airplane pose, look down. And again, inhaling, reach forward as you lift the chest. Exhale into your airplane pose. And then this time, bring the hands back down to the floor. Step your left foot back, right foot back. Come to your top of the push-up, plank pose. And then drop your knees down, your chest down, and your chin down. Inhale, lift the chest up into cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck your toes under. Press up to top of the push-up and downward facing dog. Inhale, float the right leg up behind you. Exhale, step the right foot in between your hands. Come into your runner's lunge. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, press through that bottom of that right foot and then float the arms all the way up into your crescent pose, Anjaya Dasana. Inhale, exhale, bring your hands to your heart center and then spin that left foot flat. Come on into your warrior two. Take a nice deep breath in, turn the right palm up, reach back behind you, reverse your warrior. Exhale, circle your hands down to the floor and step the right foot back, downward facing dog. 
Inhale, float the left leg up. Exhale, step the left foot in between your hands. Inhale, runner's lunge. And then lift the arms up into your high lunge. Reach up. Exhale, hands come to the heart center. Spin the right foot flat. Warrior two, reach out to the side. Turn the left palm up. Reverse your warrior, reach back. Exhale, circle your hands down to the floor and step the left foot back, downward facing dog. Take a nice deep breath here at the bottom of your exhalation. Bend your knees, walk, jump or float your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale and fold forward. Grab opposite elbows again. Sway your torso side to side with really drop the head down. Bring your hands to your hips, come all the way up to standing. Big toes come together, heels are an inch apart. Inhale, sit into your chair pose, reach the arms forward. Exhale, airplane, reach back behind you two more times. Inhaling into chair. Exhale, swim your arms back, airplane. Inhale, into chair, lift the heart. Exhale, reach back behind you, bring the hands back down to the floor, step your right foot back, left foot back, top of the push-up, and then this time, you can either do what we did earlier with the knees, chest, and chin down, or maybe you can come to bottom of the push-up, and then roll the chest open into upward dog or cobra, exhale, roll back, downward facing dog. Inhale, float the right leg up. Exhale, step the right foot in between your hands. So we're gonna add on to our little sequence here. Inhale, in crescent pose, reach up. Exhale, warrior two, reach out to the side. Pause here for a moment. This time, straighten the right knee. And then as you turn the right palm up, reach back behind you, reverse your triangle. Let that right hip come up and up and up. And exhale, pour yourself into your triangle. Right hand comes on top of the right shin. Reach the left arm up. Inhale, take your gaze up for just a moment. Roll the shoulders down the back. And then as you exhale, bend that right knee. Bring the right hand down behind the right ankle. You can bring your big, uh, peace fingers between the big toe and the, little, and the middle toe. And then extend the side angle pose. As you pause here, spin the left arm towards the opposite wall and reach the fingertips towards the opposite wall. Udita Pras Volkanasana. Pause here for a moment. Inhale. Lower the left hand down. Pick up that left heel off the ground and twist to the right into your revolve lunge. Inhaling. Exhale. Lower the right hand down and step the right foot back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, float the left leg up. Exhale, step the left foot in between your hands. Crescent pose, come on up. Inhale, warrior two, open up to the side. Inhale, begin to straighten the left knee as you reach back behind you. Reverse your triangle and then go into your triangle pose. Left hand on top of your left shin as you reach the right arm up. Shoulders, check in with the shoulders. Make sure they're not into your ears. Right arm reaches up. Take a nice deep breath here. And then take your gaze down. Bend the left knee. Maybe the peace fingers come in between the big toe and the middle toe. Spin the right arm. Reach the right fingertips towards the opposite wall. Side angle pose. Inhale. Exhale. Lower the right hand down. Pick up the right heel off the ground. Revolve lunge to the left. Beautiful. Pause here for a moment. Inhaling. Exhale, lower the left hand down, step the left foot back, downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale, full breath, and then with your exhalation, bend the knees, walk, jump, or float your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold, grab opposite elbows, and sway your torso side to side. Let the head grow completely, shake the head side to side. Hands come to the hips, come all the way up to standing. Inhale, now this time bring your big toes together, heels are an inch apart. Take a nice deep breath in, reach the arms up, Arvahastasana. Interlace your fingers, release the index finger, point your index fingers to the ceiling. 
And then as you reach out of the waist, exhale, fold to the left. As you pause here for a moment, can you move that top shoulder back as you move the left hip forward. And then inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, fold to the right. And again, move the left shoulder back as you bring the right hip forward. Inhale, back to the center. Release the hands behind you. Put your hands in your back pockets. Lift the heart into a back bend. Inhale. Exhale, sit into your chair. Reach the fingertips forward. Exhale, airplane. Reach back behind you. Two more times. Inhale, into chair. Reach the fingertips forward. Exhale, swing arms back. Airplane. Inhaling forward. Exhaling back. And then hands come down to the floor. Step the left foot back, right foot back, top of the push-up, and downward facing dog. Inhale, send the right leg all the way up and back. Exhale, step the right foot in between your hands. Inhale, rise up to crescent pose. Exhale, open up into warrior two. Inhale, straighten the right knee, reach up and back, lift that right hip. Exhale, Trikonasana Triangle, reach the left arm up. Inhale, pause here. Exhale, extended side angle pose, reach the left arm up. Inhale, really expand through that left side. Exhale, lower the left hand down, twist to the right. Reach the right arm up. So hold it here for a moment, and then heel to that right foot to the middle of your mat as you come to the outside edge of the left foot. So you're gonna come into this variation of side angle pose. Begin to reach the right arm all the way up and over as you lift the hips up. Inhale, stretch it open. Exhale, lower the left hip all the way down to the floor and reach the right fingertips towards your left heel. Can we do that two more times? Inhale, press through that left hand. Lift the hips up, stretch out the right side. Exhale, lower the left hip as you reach your right fingertips towards the heel. And then last one, inhale, lift the heart up, pause here for a moment. And exhale, lower the hip down and then hold. You can bring that right hand behind you. And as you come up to your fingertips, twist your torso towards that left heel. Flex the bottom leg, and then you can take your gaze to your left toes. Pause here, inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, slowly begin to unwind, bring the right hand back down to the floor, and step the right foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, float the left leg up. Exhale, step the left foot in between your hands. Inhale, high lunge, crescent pose, reach up. Exhale, warrior two, reach out to the side. Inhale, straighten the left knee, reverse it. Exhale, trikonasana, triangle pose, left hand on your left shin. Inhale, rotate your torso up. Exhale, bend the left knee as you reach the right arm up into your Utita um, Parsvokasana, <laughs> excuse me. Inhale here. Exhale, lower the right hand down, pick up that right heel off the ground into your revolve lunge, reach your left arm up. Inhale, and then we're going to heel to that left foot to the middle of your mat. Come to the outside edge of the right foot, reach the left arm up, stretch it up, lift that hip up. Exhale, lower the hip down nice and slowly, reach your left fingertips towards your right heel. Two more times. Inhale. Lift up, stretch it up, exhale, lower the hip down and reach out. Once again, press through your hand. I know these aren't easy, but not only you show up for easy, no. And then lower the left hand down, step the left foot back. Downward facing dog and pause here and then come to top of the push up. You can bring your knees down, chest down or chin down or come to bottom of the push-up. If you come to Chaturanga Dandasana, hug your ribcage in, and then lift the arms up. I mean, I'm sorry, chest up, excuse me. Exhale, roll back to downward facing dog. 
Inhale, and as you exhale, walk your feet all the way to your hands. Let's stretch out the wrist a little bit. Get off our wrist. So pick up the left toes, turn your left palm up, slide your left hand under your left foot, and then do the same thing with the other side. Bend your knees as deep as you can so you can bring your toes all the way up to your wrist. So if you notice, my knees are really bent. And then I'm going to drop my head down and slowly begin to straighten my knees. But I'm going to keep my torso glued to my thighs. And I'm going to lean forward a little bit to get a nice stretch in the wrist. Let the elbows open to the side. Inhale. And exhale, let the head drop. And then slowly release, bring your hands back to your hips and come all the way up to standing at the top of your mat. Big toes together, heels are an inch apart. Inhale, Arva Hastasana, reach up. Interlace your fingers, release the index finger. Reach out of the waist, exhale, fold to the left. Inhale to the center, exhale, fold to the right. Inhale to the center, exhale, hands in your back pocket, lift the heart up, open up your chest. Exhale, bend the knees, reach forward, chair pose. And then back behind your airplane. Now hold here. Can you lift the heels off the ground this time? Inhale, lower the heels down, reach forward, lift the heart. Exhale, airplane as you lift the heels up as high as you can. Inhale, lower the heels down, reach forward, exhale, reach back, lift the heels up, hold it, and then lower the hands down, lower the heels down. Step your right foot back, left foot back, plank pose, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Inhale, send the right leg all the way up. Exhale, step the right foot in between your hands, crescent pose, lift up. Exhale, open up into your warrior two. Straighten the right knee, reach back behind you. Inhale, exhale into your trikonasana triangle. Pause here and then take it into your extended side angle pose. Bend the right knee, look up. Exhale, lower the left hand down. Pick up the left heel off the ground. Revolve lunge, reach the right arm up. So we're going to go into our vashistasana and then add on. Heel toe that right foot to the middle of your mat. Come to the outside edge of the left foot. Inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, lower the hips down. Reach your right fingertips towards your left heel. Hold it here. And then you're going to bring the right hand behind you and go, just go ahead and have a seat. So that right knee is going to be on top of the left knee. Your hips are both grounded. Left foot is flexed. Interlace the fingers around the right shin, lift the chest, inhale, exhale, bow forward as you drop the head down. Hold it here for a moment. Nice, big, big stretch for the back of the left leg, the left hamstring, low back, inhale. And sigh it out, exhale it out. And then slowly with your inhalation, lift the chest up, bring that left hand back down to the floor, come back into your side plank variation, lift the hips. Now here, I'm gonna challenge you to try something for me. See if you can stack your feet into your true Vashi Stamsana, side plank. Maybe from here, you can take that right foot behind the left leg and then lift the heart into this big, 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 big back bend, inhale. Exhale, slowly lower the hips down, bring the right hand down, step the right foot back, left foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, float the left foot up. Exhale, step the left foot in between your hands, crescent pose, right up, inhale. Exhale, warrior two, straighten the left knee, reach back, inhale, stretch it back, Exhale, triangle, trikonasana, left hand on your left shin. Inhale, pause. Exhale, bend the left knee, extend the side angle pose, reach the right arm up. Inhale, reach and expand over the right side. Exhale, lower the right hand down and twist to the left. 
Inhale, stay here for just a moment. Exhale, heel to your left foot to the middle of your mat. Lower the hip down, reach the left fingertips towards your heel. Inhale, pause. And then exhale, take the left hand behind you and you're just gonna slowly sit all the way on your bum. Bring the left knee all the way on top of the right knee. Interlace the fingers, inhale. Exhale, bow forward, drop the head down. Nice stretch in the hamstring, low back, flex the foot so you feel the stretch in the back of that right calf as well. One more deep breath here, inhale. And exhale, let the head completely drop. And then nice and slowly come all the way back up again. Take the right hand next to your body. Press the left foot down, lift the hip up, inhale. Now see if you can take that left foot all the way on top of the right foot, so side plank. Inhale, pause. I know this is a strong, strong pose. Exhale, take the left foot behind the right foot, right leg, and then slowly begin to open up your chest, stretch out the front side body, big heart opener here. And exhale, slowly lower the hips down, Lower the left hand down, step the left foot next to the right foot, downward facing dog. Inhale here as you exhale, come to top of the push-up. Lower down to bottom of the push-up. Inhale, roll the chest open into upward dog or cobra. Exhale, roll back to downward facing dog. Take a nice deep breath here. We have one last little sequence here. Inhale and exhale, walk float or jump your feet to your hands. Now this time, instead of what we did before, we're gonna take our peace fingers and hook our big toes. So on the left side and then peace finger on the right hand, hooks the right big toes. You can cap the big toes with your thumbs. Inhale, lift the chest. Again, keep the knees bent. And then exhale, begin to fold forward. You can pull your torso towards your shins. And then lift the hips up and stretch out the hamstring, stretch out the lower back. So if you notice, my knees are bent, right? That really helps me protect my lower back. And I wanna keep my uh, rib cage on my thighs. You can straighten the knees as much as you want to, as long as the rib cage and the thighs are glued to each other. Let the elbows open out to the side, inhale. And exhale, drop the head down completely. And then bring your hands to your hips. Come all the way up to standing, please. So our bodies are wound up. We're ready for this next pose. Bring your big toes together. Heels are an inch apart. And then take your left elbow to your left ribcage. Palm is open. I'll do it towards you so you can see me better. So palm is open, left elbow, left rib cage. Take your right hand on your belly to make sure your core is engaged. And then bend that left knee back, just like that. Then you take your hand behind you and find your inner ankle. So you can grab the outside of your ankle, but if you open the, uh, grab the inner ankle, you're actually opening the shoulder more too. And then just press your ankle into your hand as you begin to press that shin towards the back wall. If you like to, you can raise the right arm up and you can pause here. Think about lifting the chest up. So dancer pose. And then you keep pressing that shin back, almost like your body is going, like it's an elevator. You press the shin back and back and back and back and back. And then you can lower the right hand down and lower the torso, make it parallel to the floor into a standing bowl. Inhale, come all the way back up, nice and slow. And place the left foot next to the right foot, stand tall, Tadasana. If you fell out of pose, please don't worry about it. Be at peace with it. Everybody falls out. And we're gonna try it on the other side. So right elbow on your right rib cage, right palm is open, bend the right knee back, grab the inside edge of the right foot, right ankle, reach the left arm up, 
and then begin to press that shin back, straight back. Try not to let that knee go out to the side. You want to keep the knees close to each other. And press that shin back and back and back. But really, you're doing a back bend, so your heart is lifted. And then, if you like to, you can turn the palm down and then bring your body so it's your torso, so it's parallel to the floor. You breathe here, you hold it for as long as you want to, and slowly release. Come on all the way back up. Step the right foot next to the left foot, Tadasana. Bring your hands together, Samasthihi. Pause here for a moment. And then inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, bend the knees and fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, plant your hands down, step your left foot back, right foot back, come to top of the push-up, downward facing dog. Take a nice deep breath here. Inhale, float the right leg up behind you. Exhale, bring the right knee to your chest and bring that right shin all the way down to the floor. So we're going to get ready for pigeon prep. And for this pose, I really suggest that if you have difficulty getting there, take a block or a blanket and put it under your right hip. That's going to give you a nice little support, and it actually supports your knee as well. If you're very flexible and you don't need it, and you want to make it a little bit more challenging, you can bring your right shin up so it's parallel to the top of your mat. But if you bring the right chin up, make sure you flex the foot. And then you want to roll that left hip down. So we're going to stay here in a little back bend. Lift the chest, inhale, pause here. And then exhale, begin to roll forward. And then do that again two more times, like in kind of an ocean wave. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, and fold. And last one, I'm going to hold the last one. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale and fold. And then if you want to, you can take one of your blocks, put it on your forehead, and just let that left hip melt down towards the floor. Press through the outside edge of your right shin, right ankle, right knee, deep, deep stretch for that right hip. This is my favorite pose. I know it's not a lot of people's favorite pose, but it's a really, really effective way to stretch out the piriformis, that, that muscle, very important muscle on the outside of the hip. So make sure that right foot is flexed. Breathe into that. Imagine you're just opening some space in that right hip with your breath. For this particular pose, it's really good to keep, to stay with it for a little bit. So I, I usually like to stay here for a couple minutes to just allow the connective tissues to open up. So as you stay here, just imagine your breath is like a massage therapist opening up space. One more deep breath here. And then as you're ready, slowly come back up to your back bend. So lift the chest up first. And then place the hands down and step the right foot back. Downward facing dog. You can stay still here or if it feels good, you can shake the leg out. You can do circles. Do whatever your body is organically asking for to allow some blood to come back into that right hip. And as you're ready, no rush, send the left leg all the way up, inhale, exhale, bring the left knee to your chest, and then lower the shin down. So same thing here. And then notice that our sides are different because they're all asymmetrical. One side can be a little bit tighter than the other. So maybe on this side, you wanna sit on your blanket or, or a block. Or maybe on this side, you want to try to bring the left shin up towards the, to make it parallel to the top of your mat. 
Make sure your left knee feels good though. And to do that, you want to really activate that left leg. So flex the foot, flex, press the outside edge of the left um, ankle down, press the outside, the left shin down, the left knee down, and then you roll that right hip down towards the floor. And then as you come down, you just close your eyes and just kind of commit to staying here for two minutes. Breathe into that left hip. Let that right hip melt towards the floor. This is such an incredible, incredible stretch, but it really takes a lot of um, commitment and uh, kind of, you know, it's, it's grace. <laughs> I say grace because Sometimes we beat ourselves up over, oh, my body is so tight or whatever, all the narratives that go on to our head. And instead, I'm going to invite you to just be kind and graceful towards your body, even if it doesn't feel good right now or at some point. Just loving your body exactly the way it is. There's no need to change it. There's no need to gain five pounds or lose five pounds. You know, we always have these kind of ideals in our head that I should look a certain way or act a certain way. The wonderful thing about this, our yoga practice is to learning to love ourselves and accept ourselves the way we are. And with really kindness and understanding, compassion. As you're ready, gently begin to lift your torso up. Place your hands on your on the floor. So to create a back bend first, inhale. And then as you're ready, come back into your downward facing dog. And again, move organically. So if you want to shake the leg out or circle the leg or just stand still, come into stillness in your down dog, whatever your body is asking you for, give it to it right now. Inhale, and exhale. And then gently begin to walk your feet all, uh, to halfway up your mat. And if you've got a block, please bring it with you. If you don't have one, that's okay too. Um, take your legs wide apart from each other. And uh, just kind of move a little bit side to side to ground your sit bones down. You can take your hands behind you, lift the chest, press your heels down to activate your legs. So really, really strong legs here. Notice if the knees or the toes are pointing in or out. Can you make sure that the toes and the knees are pointing up towards the ceiling? And if you can maintain all that and, and at the same time lift the spine tall, then you can come forward, you can use your block Bring your chest on top of the block and then drop the head down. So as you did that, notice if the toes went in, keep the toes going straight up, knees straight up, and just press the hips down, press the sit bones down, drop the head down. Nice deep inner thigh muscle stretch. One more deep breath in, let the head really drop. Keep the legs really active, please. And then gently begin to bring yourself all the way back up with the help of your hands. You can bring your feet together in butterfly, grab your ankles, bring your heels a little bit closer to uh, your groin. Interlace your fingers under the outside edge of the feet, lift the chest, you can butterfly your legs open, inhale, and then as you're ready, fold forward. You can use your elbows to lower the knees down, just gently, gently guide them down, don't push them. Don't force your body to do something it doesn't want to do. Let the head drop. And then gently lift the torso back up. And I'm going to give you different options here. So you can either cross your ankles and just sit tall and then bring the hands down to the floor. 
or you can, if you want to, you can try Agni Savasana. Take the right ankle on top of the left knee. You want to make sure that the shins are parallel with each other or stacked on top of each other. This is called Fire Lock Pose, Agni Savasana. If you're here, you want to flex both feet. You can sit here, sit tall, or you can come forward, maybe using your elbows to bring that right knee down. If you're here and you feel okay, and just you feel like this knee is really high up, just put a block or blanket or pillows in between the knees. And then if it feels good, you can go a little bit deeper, maybe your elbows can come down to the floor and then you drop the head down. Again, another one of my really, really favorite hip openers. And as we pause here for a moment, let the head drop, close your eyes. After this, uh, we're going to do one more and then get into our Shavasana. So stay with me, you're doing really well. And nice and slowly you begin to lift your torso up and whatever you did on this side repeat on the other side so either crossing your ankles and folding forward or taking that left ankle on top of the right knee shins are parallel stacked on top of one another flex the feet either sit tall and just stay here or maybe come down on your elbows or all the way down to the floor as you drop the head down Keep both feet flexed. And then super slowly coming back up, bring your knees towards your chest. Put your feet flat on the floor, take a deep breath in, reach forward, exhale, begin to slowly lower all the way down to the floor, bring your knees to your chest, hug them in. If you like to go into a happy baby pose, this is, a, oh, such a good place to be right now. Kind of massage your back a little bit side to side. Breathe into your hips. And we're gonna do a, a quick, twist before we go into our Shavasana. So just a nice little drop your knees over to the left, stretch out your right arm, breathe into that right low back, and then come back to the center, drop your knees over to the right, stretch out the left arm, deep twist. And my dear, uh, if you're ready, let's come into our Shavasana. So extend your legs out, turn the palms open, let the shoulders down the back. And please don't skip this. This is a really important part of your practice. So make sure you just take even a minute or two to just kind of settle in. This is kind of like rebooting your system. So let everything get integrated. Close your eyes. Let the eyeballs sink into the sockets. Get really comfortable. Let your breath be completely natural. Feel as if your body is just melting towards the floor. Let yourself get super heavy. And just work your body from head to toe, from skin to bone. And give yourself this few moments of rest and relaxation. As you're ready, gently begin to deepen your breath. Draw one knee to your chest and then the other knee to your chest. Notice which nostril you're breathing out a little bit easier. Roll over to that side and pause for a moment. With a strength in your top arm, press yourself to a comfortable seat, please. Bringing your hands to the heart center. 
Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you through your practice today. Hope to see you next time. Namaste.